guys, welcome back to another video or your first video here, I don't know. Welcome if you're new here, welcome either way. This one is going to be my, again, slightly late May unhaul and pretty much everything that I'm going to be talking about in today's unhaul is a comic. So if comics aren't your jam, then I will see you in my next video. But yeah, I some of these are because I tried them in the month of May, decided I either wasn't going to continue in the series or to DNF the first volume and therefore I'm getting rid of the rest. I think some of them are from my already read shelf and I decided to get rid of them and then a couple I had them on my to read shelf and decided to get rid of them. It's annoying with comics because of the fact that I spend so much money collecting them and I've really just decided that I am not going to be buying comics until I already know that I have read and loved the series. So let's just get into those. So let's start off with the longest series I have. As you can see, I have 18 volumes and that is the Blackbird series. Give me a second to put these down. And I'll just hold up volume one. So yeah, this one falls into the fact that I read this and I think volume two a little while ago, I really enjoyed it, decided to collect the rest in the series without reading on, which was my fault. And then trying to reread this now, I just really, really didn't enjoy it. I think that demon fantasy things tend to be my vibe, but this definitely falls into the camp of manga where you have quite a young female protagonist who ends up in a relationship where it's very un unbalanced power dynamics between her and the main guy and it's supposed to be presented as this really romantic thing and it's just quite uncomfortable to read now as an adult. So I do think I have the entire series now which I'm just going to be getting rid of because I like to waste money I guess. Next I have two volumes of a series where I did really enjoy the first book when I read it and I have volume one and volume nine of Dazzle. Now, I really enjoyed this when I read it, but could I tell you a single thing about the plot now? No, I would have to reread this in order to continue on with the series. And honestly, I've just lost interest. And I do think that if I was to continue on with or to reread this to continue on, I think that it would ruin my good memories I have of this one. So I decided to get rid of both of these. I don't even know how long the series is. Next we have one that I picked up from a comic shop and that is Central Phrase Volume 17. I thought, was looking at my comic shelf and I was like, right, I don't want to buy all 16 volumes to check if this one is going to be for me. So let's see if I can find the first volume online. I found it and started it and decided, nope, this is not for me. So I'm going to get rid of this as well. This one follows a... Oh, is there... The Dazzle one I can't remember um, the plot of, but just going back. Blackbird follows a girl who can see demons and spirits and doesn't know why. And it's a very exhausting power to have until she meets someone who is a demon themselves. And he explains to her that demons are going to be after her blood and she's going to need his help to protect her and kind of give him monopoly over her blood or whatever it is but yeah it was very uncomfortable to read now and then this one follows a young girl who is um, a lyricist she loves writing lyrics for songs and I believe she gets involved I didn't get far enough in to be able to tell but I believe she gets involved in a relationship with a rock star so again very unbalanced power dynamics and finally, we have a series of six comics for Demon Love Spell. Let me just hold up. Number one. So in, again, I think the month of May, I reread this one because I read either only this one or this one plus a couple. I can't remember how far I got into the series the first time I read it, but I read this a while ago, really enjoyed it. Again, I like demon related fantasy. And upon reread, I did get to the end of it, but honestly, it was just kind of fine. And I, again, found it a very uncomfortable relationship at the heart of this that was just not 
enjoyable to read. Um, it's quite similar to Blackbird, in, but in this one we're following a young woman who, she is a, um, how did it describe it? A shrine maiden. And she has been learning about ways to banish demons, but she's a bit of an idiot and therefore never rem remembers what she's supposed to do. And she ends up coming across a demon and just saying the first thing that comes into her head and it ends up by accident working and she can't work out how to reverse what she's done and also this is another very similar situation where she has to rely on a demon to protect her from other demons and yeah the, like again I've now got all of the volumes in the series and I'm not going to continue so this was a big waste of money. Right, so before these all fall over, let me just quickly take a thumbnail shot. There we go. And there you have it. Those are all the books I got rid of in the month of May. And I will see you in my haul. Also, do let me know of a book that you decided to get rid of recently. Bye.